So look, it might be in the dark, but oh, that is such a good win, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. It's a good, good feeling to have when you go and win a game in that way. We've we played really well lately. Today, I still think we played well today. We played differently. I think we spoke about it at the weekend. We said we can play short, but if teams are going to press us, we've got a backup that we yeah. can play a little bit longer. It's not not necessarily boom ball, but we've got a backup to it, and we've done it today. They pressed us very, very well, and we've come out of it very well. Yeah, because I thought that I thought actually it was two completely different teams to when we played them a few weeks ago. Mm. We were good, but so were they. I was impressed with their pace. Oh, that was yeah, a lot of a challenge. Yeah, they're very good. The way that they set up was good. Um, they, they were a problem in the first half. We, we were trying to get messages across without trying to give away what we were trying to get across. So half-time was needed. Um, obviously come straight out, get the goals from, from what we're looking to do. Um, and then we were able to sort of sit back a little bit, absorb a bit. Um, and, and we did that. And that's a different side to our game that I'll keep saying about. People say that like, we might be a pretty side, might want to play, we might be vulnerable. But how many games now are we sitting here saying we've, we've, we've grown up a little bit and we've, we've put in the dirty work and we've, we've done grit, we've won the headers. We might not be the most massive side, but we've, we've worked on distances, timers of run and going ahead of the ball and getting seconds and all that type of stuff. How you go about that? We, we do it. We're, we're not bullied. We're not bullied at all. Well, I think I think you could really see how that's that's working. Like, but like you said, three different styles against us now, and we still played all of them. And yeah, we have a certain way of playing. But you're adapted each time now, and it's so good that what we never noticed be before, because we used to do the other side. He's been right next to you. Was listening to it. It was really interesting. All the other teams tend to scream and shout their offerings. All you're doing, we're having you get instructions on, but it's more like you're having conversations with each yeah. player. Well, like I and said, they're, like they're having an input as well. Yeah, like I said at the weekend, we we've we've worked on basic principles. The way that we're going to play can be adaptable. So if I'm if I'm moving a certain way, that enables three different passes, whether it be short, long, or sort of whatever it be. So yeah. it's stuff that we've worked on. So the, the players understand the basic principles of what we're going to do. It then becomes a case of. Um, reading it, seeing it on the pitch and adapting to it. And then it's a case of we can have the conversations. It's not a dictatorship. It's a yeah. case of, right, this is what we've worked on. Plan A isn't working, but can you see plan two? Well, no, actually, I can see the third option. All right, well, as long yeah, as you're not... You, we could see that because about halfway through, I noticed there was one session where you actually... It was one of the centre-backs, can't remember who, and you were having a conversation and he was saying, like, what do you mean, this, this, this? They went, yeah, and he was just clarifying and talking to you. It wasn't just, do this, do that. Yeah, there's, so, there's, we work, I guess we say principles, was also problem solving. We work on problem solving. Here are X amount of solutions. And it's a case that we get into it today and we go, right, they're pressing us, so option A isn't on. What other solutions have we got? Yeah. Can you see this one that we've gone through? I can, but it's risky. So. I think we can do this. All right, we'll try it. If it doesn't work, then you've got this one. Yeah, cool, done. Um, so they're they're managing things on the pitch now, which is is good to see. Yeah. And also, I was really pleased for Nods to get his goal. Mm. I thought he deserved that because he stuck yeah. at it. Nice little one-two with their defender. That he'll, yeah. he'll say amen. But no, yeah, he's played well. Again, we um, we've had a couple of chats following um, the game at the weekend. Obviously, we brought him off at half time. We've gone through a few bits. Um, He's got himself on nice and high at the right time coming onto the ball where he's managed to get his shot off. So uh, I'm really pleased with Nas. I think he's played well today. Yeah, that, that I think both him and Astley, uh, if you'd set the start of season two, our most important players were going to be those two, those guys. And you go, nah, you have not. Yeah, but isn't they're, 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 They've bonded really well. Yeah. Like they're, they're similar people. So um, they've bonded really well. Um, yeah, they're, they're brilliant. Like, like, they're, they're good lads. And then Trev goes and gets his usual yeah. goal. It's almost getting boring now. <laughs> I'm, I'm never get bored yeah. of it. He's almost put his knee through the dugout, comes off hobbling for five minutes and yeah. still pokes one in the back of the net. It's just what he does, isn't it? Uh, it's always good to see. But, but the whole team was like, like in the midfield. They were so quick, but we still sort of stood up to them and managed it, the midfield. Yeah. It, this is where I start, like, it's hard because there's, there's players that are probably going to say to me, why am I not playing now? And I get it. Like, Every single player that comes on is putting on a performance. Every time we rotate, they're putting in a performance. So it's hard, but it's a good hard. We, the last two games, Steve and I have genuinely been having conversations on the day about oh, what do you reckon about that? And, and we're making some changes. We're chop so it's really hard on who starts the game, who comes on. Yeah. We've got ideas in our head, but we're able to manage the game based on what we're seeing. And like I say, half time, we needed that to come because they started, you know, it was it was a basketball game, we said. We were having well, five yeah. minutes, they were having five minutes. But there was a there was a clear way that they were playing that was 
kind of hurting us a little bit. So um, so we addressed that and we come at second half straight away, got two goals and we've gone well. We now defend on the way that we were talking about defending and, and, and we should see out the game and luckily we did. Yeah, but it's like this, it has been his team effort. Like Reese dropped to the bench there, but he came on and it, his little cameo was perfect. And the last five minutes when their player got sent off because he was just so wound up were brilliant. Yeah, well, yeah. again, Reese is another one. He, he can feel hard done by by being on the bench. He's, he's scored a couple of goals and whatnot, but we sort of said to him, well, here's a few things to consider. Uh, here's a few targets that we need, <laughs> need to challenge you with. We said it to him literally, it was a perfect game for him. We're on a situation because yeah. what we're asking him to do more of, he was required to do today. He had to do it, and he did. He stood up and did it. So he's adding to his game as well. So. Yeah, it was, it was good to see him come on and play the way he did. And again, I know you don't necessarily want to talk about positions and all that sort of thing we've talked about, but the defence I thought was solid because, you know, Danny Leopard up front, and, and they've got good players yeah. who didn't really have much of a game. Really, yeah, they've got a fantastic front line, even with Andy Pugh coming off. Yeah. Leopard carries his threats going forward, like he's, he's scored a goal, so he carries his threats. So, uh, Babalola, I thought, was unbelievable. So he, he was really causing problems just all across the front line. And again, we've got players around that are just stifling it. It, 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 not making it easy, we're fighting for first, second balls, third balls, coming away with it a lot, any scraps, that was a real pleasing thing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs>